what was uh, your reaction to just the way that that ended in overtime? Well, there's games throughout the years, I mean, throughout the season that you just like, nobody deserves to lose. And tonight was one of them. Both teams played extreme, extremely hard and elite level uh, offense. And it came down to who made uh, one more shot. And it seems like um, proud of our guys' effort. We came back after a back-to-back and a tough back-to-back. I mean, Cleveland, that was a very hard-fought game. Uh, but, yeah, we had we had plays. We had plays down the stretch um, we made, and they made plays down the stretch. It was a – we fouled them too many times, and they didn't foul us enough. And then we got two crazy technicals that I don't – I've heard – I've seen a lot of technicals in my career, and I – those two weren't deserved and but you know that's the way they called it and that's the way they saw it and that's the way they wanted to call it but i i've seen worse i've heard worse and i don't know that's frustrating it's frustrating but that that didn't lose the game but that's part of the that's part of you know the game that shouldn't ever happen but it's frustrating kellen hey scott um what do you take away from the eight game win streak that was snapped tonight. But when you look back at that win streak, what do you, what do you take away from that? No, we're not going to give up. We've been punched a bunch of times and you know what, you just got to keep punching back and we got a bunch of fighters on our team. And tonight was another game, you know, they jumped on us. They scored 38 points. And luckily we, we scored enough points in that first quarter to, to, to make it, to keep it competitive, but you know we we played back to back and uh, the, the last trip and coming home and then going back out for a game and then coming home for back to backs. It's a tough schedule, but we had to make up a lot of games and that's part of it. We knew it, uh, but like I said, one of those games that somebody had to lose. We put them on the line too many times and we didn't get there enough. Uh- it seemed like Brad got a pretty good look there, but was, were you happy with it or what? Yeah, you- Brad. I mean, anytime, anytime they have a foul to give, it's always it's always a tough position to be in for both teams. You know, Brad's good enough and he's smart enough to see a foul potential coming, and but he got a clean look. He missed a shot. Um, he's played. He's he's had a great game. Obviously, a great week. Um, but yeah, like I said. We've been playing pretty good defense for the last couple of months, and tonight was a offensive um, game for both teams. I'm sure they Pop is not happy giving up 143, but we got We got to get back to, you know, if we want to get back to in the winning column against the against the Lakers, we got to be a much better defensive team. And it looked like you were maybe considering challenging there at the end with Westbrook's foul. Out. Were you or, or like yeah, what? I thought I thought he did get get him a little bit. So and I only had one timeout. Uh, that, was, that was a, you know, knowing knowing the way they never, yeah, they. Next question. Would the clock have reset there? Um, if, anyway, if since it was a jump ball, would it have gone to four? Ah, whatever. Who knows? Ask ask the ask them. Sure. Fred. Yeah, Scott, on, on those last few possessions, when when you guys are trying to trap, you get the couple of timeout calls there. What did you guys think? What did you think of your guys' defensive? I thought we I thought we played, I mean, I thought we played pretty good. I mean, they they made, let's face it, they made a lot of mid-range shots. A lot. I mean, we made six threes, they made six threes. They made 30 free throws, we made 21. They got to the line 35 times, we got 25. They made a lot of mid-range shots. We attacked. I thought we attacked. We got to the to the to the paint. I thought we had a, a lot of attacks. I mean, I, I don't know if where we are. I'm, I I feel like we got inside the lane more than probably we've had all season long, but we didn't get I thought we could have got some opportunities to get some some and ones or some two free throws. And, and you guys this year, when you've had a three, four second differential in a one possession game in those situations, you tend to consistently go with that strategy, trying to force a trap or a turnover or something, and then foul as a second resort. But what goes into the logic of coming up with that strategy? Is that- Just um, 
this thing. I usually, I usually go right if it's four, four seconds. It was, it was borderline. I think it was three, five or three. It was close tonight. It was a, it was a, a tough decision, but I, I went the other way. Usually if it's a little bit more with four seconds, I would have three, eight, three, four seconds. I would have definitely played it out. Uh, we had, we had a, a timeout. Um, but it's also, it's also different. It's so you're playing one thing, one thing I've seen him enough now, um, DeRozan, I don't know how many years he's been in the league, 12 or, or so I've seen him enough. And one thing he does do well, he plays very, um, poised down the stretch. And so knowing, knowing that plan, he would have probably took the shot right at one second or under. So it would have been, it would have been maybe two seconds and you have to get the rebound, but that's the strategy, but also you have to figure out or factor in who you're playing against. That's a veteran team that a lot of veteran players. Zach. Hey, coach, uh, Rui played 32 minutes tonight, uh, but what did you think of his performance overall? Yeah, I, th I thought he, he, I thought he was a little rusty, but that's probably expected. He hasn't played in a while and his only, his only competition was a couple of days against coaches and He'd be back. I think he'd be back better uh, tomorrow. Thought he was a. I thought he was a defensively was a little uh, a step behind at times. Um, like I said, that's that's kind of expected. He he he'll play much better uh, next game. What did you think of his rebounding in overtime? Yeah, I thought I thought I thought he thought he I, like I said I thought he played so I don't think he played bad I thought defensively he I thought he got beat on a couple of times late in the games you know, the one on the baseline and the one up top that normally he probably would have been able to stay in front of him but give Keldon the, I think it's Keldon on the one baseline and they boxed in Alex uh, I think Proto was boxing him in so he got that layup I think we're up two or one at that time 121 um but I thought he I thought he I thought he played a solid game, not great, but nothing to be like not upset with him. It, it, it played it play better tomorrow or Wednesday. Hey, Rui, uh, obviously not the result you guys wanted, but your first game back after missing some games, how would you feel, especially having to go extended minutes when pro probably Scott didn't want to play you that much? Uh, you know, I felt good out there. Uh, we lost the game. But I think uh, uh, from the beginning, our defense wasn't, a good compared to the other couple games. Uh, I think we gave up uh, 140. And then, yeah, we were in the last minutes, we were just like, you know, scoring each other. They were just getting whatever they want. And then, yeah, they got the last minutes. What do you think is the key to improving that defense? What aspect do you feel wasn't up to par tonight? Oh. Um, I just think that tonight we didn't have a good energy on the defense. We, um, offense side, we are, we are playing good. You know, we are sharing the ball, uh, making the shot. But the defense side, we are kind of um, just giving them whatever they want. You know, we are fouling a lot the first quarter. And I think we are all bigs. Two guys got in the foul trouble, and then that kind of hurt us, you know. And then, I mean, as you step up, and then he – he did a good job, but you know, they we I think we gave them a rhythm rhythm and uh, yeah, that's that's kind of hard. Ava. Really just wondering how the knee is feeling after your first game back. Uh, that's all right, you know. Um, it's a little tight, but you know, I knew it was gonna be like this, so I already had a problem before, so um, you know, I just gotta take care of my body. Gotta get treatment and then get ready for the next game. And then um, with the Lakers coming to town on Wednesday, obviously, is defense just the biggest thing that you guys need to kind of get back to doing, like you were uh, saying earlier? No, for sure, yeah. Um, um, even like, you know, including me, the bigs, you know, we got I think we got to step up a little more. Tonight, we just, like, give up whatever they want, and we're just giving the easy foul. So, yeah, we just got to be smarter on Wednesday, you know, and we're going to against one of the best teams in the league. So, yeah, we just got to stick in together and, uh, yeah, play good, play defense. Hey, Brad, obviously, you know, we've asked you this before, but 
what's the frustration level just when you feel like you're attacking the rim, you're being aggressive, but not necessarily being rewarded? First praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, it's beyond frustrating, honestly, because uh, I feel like I'm one of the, the guys in the league who respects refs, respects their profession, respect what they do. I never come to them aggressive. I'm never coming to them out of anger. Uh, I never come to them disrespectful. Uh, and they all know that. And I make sure I reemphasize that every time I speak with a referee. Uh, and they all agree upon it, that I'm not that type of guy. And to still not get rewarded for blatant fouls is ridiculous. But, I, you know, they're... They they they're not perfect. They're gonna miss calls just like we miss shots. So, teach his own. How did you guys feel that the defensive energy was? Ruby said, you know, that might have been a little bit lacking tonight. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. Uh, we we took a step back. It was kind of same as last game. You know, we we didn't lock into guarding our guys defensively, uh, and then we weren't helping each other. And more importantly, we didn't rebound the ball. I don't. I didn't think they were bigger than we were um, on the inside. And I think they kind of beat us up on the boards, offensive rebounds, um, second chance shots, and points. And they were they were just a little bit more scrappier than we were. You know, neither. I feel like neither team really defended. It was the first team who was going to defend to win. Uh, but you know, they more or less were just a little bit more scrappier than we were. Matt. Hey, Brad. Uh, I know that like, this doesn't just when you look at your box score, like what kind of stands out to you more? The fact that you scored 45 without a three pointer or with only five foul shots? Uh, I don't really look at box scores after the game. Uh, I don't really pay attention to it, but. Uh, five free throws is unacceptable. Everybody knows I average eight to ten in the league, so it's a little self-explanatory. Uh, but I feel like I probably don't shoot enough threes, so I got to start shooting more. In order, for, the more you shoot, the more you make. That's what my mom always told me. So I gotta get back to that. Uh, anyone else? Oh, Ava, go ahead. Brad, you guys obviously had contributions from everyone pretty much up and down the roster. Um, what do you feel like was the just the kind of overall downfall? Defense, Ava. We didn't guard worth the damn. Uh, it's tough. They made a lot of tough shots down the stretch. You know, we were up nine uh, during the course of the fourth. I kind of blame myself for that. We didn't really get anything generated on either end. Uh, but more or less, we were still in the, in, in the game, and we just didn't defend. We didn't we didn't get stops when we needed to. We damn sure didn't rebound. Uh, so that's where we lost it. We just lost it on defensive end. We got to get back to our principles and getting back to being nasty on defense. Do you feel like that'll be a, a quick fix, obviously, with a big game coming up on Wednesday? For sure. Uh, I think we, we, we love where our head is. We know what we got to do better. Uh, you know, tonight was a team that's in the same boat as we were. You know, they're hungry to, you know, to be in the play in and make a push and uh, better themselves. And, uh, you know, we're trying to do the same. So, you know, we got a team in on, on Wednesday who's, who is a playoff team who can, you know, really challenge us. And uh, so we got to be ready to go. And uh, I'm definitely excited about it. Hey, Russ, uh, Scott was talking about, you know, you guys were being aggressive, attacking the rim, but not necessarily being rewarded. Uh, with calls, what is that frustration level like when you guys feel like you're not getting what you may deserve? Uh, you just got to keep going, keep fighting. You know, unfortunately, you can't control what other people do. Ava? Uh, Russ, what do you guys need to do on defense um, with the Lakers coming to town on Wednesday that you weren't able to get done tonight? Uh, just defend like we've been doing. Nothing special. Just do what we've been doing tonight. We didn't. wasn't that great, but you know, uh, there's nice like that sometimes. But um, just continue to defend like we've been doing the past month or so. Um, it will be all right. And I know that you guys are taking things day to day, in particular this time of year. But what can you take from the eight game win streak in terms of how much confidence it gives you guys? Um, just what we know we're capable of. 
Simple as that. Um, you know, we know what we need to do. We know what it takes to win games, especially multiple in a row. Um, the amount of concentration um, it takes. So we understand what that entails. Cassidy. Hi, Russ. Um, I know this was a tough loss. Um, we're doing something a little bigger picture uh, at ESPN. So, you know, I know this is your your 12th triple double this month alone, which gives you the record for, you know, single month passing Wilt. You know, you're seven away for the most ever in NBA history. It feels like given the frequency, Russ, you know, that what you do with triple doubles is taken for granted. Do they feel like achievements to you? Something you're proud of as you continue to build your legacy? Um. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that for me, I take pride, like I said, um, like I say, every single night and leaving it all on the floor. Um, I honestly believe there is no player like myself. Um, and if people want to take it for granted, sorry for them. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure if everybody could do it, they'll do it. Um, and I honestly make sure that I impact the game in many ways. Um, every night, defending, rebounding, passing, assisting, uh, whatever it is that my team needs for me to be able to win. Um, and that's what I do. I, I really don't, honestly, Cass, I don't care what nobody thinks about it. Or I don't care if somebody thinks it is, um, you know, whatever they want to call it, stat padding or um, not useful. I mean, you know, I think it's very interesting is that it's not useful now that I'm doing it, you know. Um, it wasn't useful when Magic and Oscar and those guys were doing it. Uh, but now that I do it and it looks easy, uh, this shit ain't easy, though. I'll tell you that. It ain't easy. I take a lot of pride in my preparation. I take a lot of pride in I'm taking care of my body. I take a lot of pride in competing every night. I don't take nights off. Um, I don't treat the game. Um, so with that, um, you know, I, I'm okay with the results of, going out and competing. And if, if it was a triple double, then shit, why not? That's my motto. Why not continue to keep going? Yeah. I mean, look, we, we know you don't pay attention to what people think. And if people want to think anything, they can look at this, this past month and how productive you've been. And it's coincided with team success too. So what is it been about this past month for you in particular? Um, the same thing for me, honestly, just, um, Finding ways to impact some nights is scoring, some nights is assisting, some nights is rebounding, defending. Um, and just doing a better job of figuring out what the game kind of tells you what to do. Um, and, and that's what I do. Um, and I just kind of go out and leave it, everything I have in the tank on the floor um, so that at the end of the night, I can be okay with the result, win, lose, the draw. Um, you know, we, obviously we all go out to compete to win and, and win every game, but it doesn't always work that way. But this particular month, uh, my teammates has done an amazing job of making my job easier. Uh, done an amazing job of playing well, uh, especially this morning. To be able to um, honestly uh, break that 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 record this morning is a blessing, and I, I truly, um, truly, truly blessed and thank you, thankful uh, to the man above just for allowing me to go out and, and play. I don't take uh, this game lightly. I don't take uh, my opportunity for granted, um, and I kind of go out and every night and. I leave it on the floor. So that's, a, um, to me, that's an unbelievable accomplishment, um, you know, to be able to do something uh, of that stature. Thanks, Russ. Appreciate it. And great talking to you. Thanks. Neil, do you have another? Yeah, Russ, uh, you came into the game technically questionable. Just how is the ankle feeling and how is your health overall right now? In it's okay. Sorry. Right. Uh, a little sore yesterday, but, you know, sorry. Right. 